Morning, Bill. Shalom. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Have you ever been? Yeah. Uh, Schaefer's As the mountains are around Jerusalem, the Lord is around his people. Hey, Mark, 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 can you kick the monitor up on my vocal just a little bit? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> As the mountains are around Jerusalem, the Lord is around his people. Ah, yeah, um, now um, I can hear you. Um, I'm um, Israel, people of Israel. I'm um, Israel. I'm um, Israel, yes. Uh, and? How do you say mountains, Paul, in Hebrew? Harim. That's right. <laughs> and that's was, where you were. I was living on one of them. Let me tell about Monday morning before my post got down to normal. When we went to go up the driveway, the guy goes, now you're going to have to really gun it to get up the driveway. And I'm like, <laughs> how high up is the house? Because <laughs> you go up, and then you got to make a sharp turn into this time. Wow. I'm like, no one alive. And I thought, well, I got to go back down that thing. And then I got lost in the mountains. Kathy says, you know what? I don't think you're going the right direction. You're going up. <laughs> <laughs> they d I heard that story. And she said, yeah, I'm sure Kathy went ahead and straightened them around. Yeah, I was going up instead of down. <laughs> oh, the Shabbat Shalom. It is perfect. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah. But I got to get a hold of her and tell her I got her. Yeah. And we need to go out and call her. I get a chance to get her. My computer's been broken for a while. I've got a river of light flowing. That's my Hallelujah. She said, oh, he can fix it. He's a computer whiz.
I just Oh, I guess it would be a blessing. It could be. Yeah, I mean, they need to have something else to come back um, to work for us. And to be doing more than anybody could ever be expected to do, right? Mm -hmm. To pray for a new job for him? Yes. Okay. But, um, anyway, he's been, I mean, he, he works hours and hours overtime and stuff, mm -hmm. and he's been told that, uh, you know, we, we just want to be in a good job for him. No it's kidding. Um, um, there's so much control. There's so much, there's so much, um, and you know, we have done so much in his work. Yeah. We've well, we'll pray that he'll get a new job and he'll get a better job. Uh, but it won't be as much work as they wanted. Yeah. Okay. And you know, we talked about this earlier, really, but he did my mm. work. And so he's going to be very proud of that. And I want to honor him and do his job. And kind of like, oh my gosh. <laughs> but I know the Lord is faithful. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, it'll work out. It will. It will I mean, work out. God is so faithful and he's been so good. It's just kind of surprising they would think that. Mm. You know, well, it's very hard to think mm -hmm. that they would think that, you know. It is. But you know what? I probably think like that. Oh, da vinu chai. Oh, da vinu chai. Oh, da vinu, oh, da vinu, oh, da vinu chai. Oh, da vinu chai. Oh, da vinu chai. Oh, da vinu, oh, da vinu, oh, da vinu chai. Am Israel, am Israel, am Israel, kai. 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 Oh, da vinu, kai. Oh, da vinu, oh, da vinu, oh, da vinu, kai. Oh, da vinu. Oh, da vinu kai. Oh, da vinu, oh, da vinu, oh, da vinu kai. Am Israel, am Israel, am Israel 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 kai. Oh, da vinu kai. Oh, da vinu. Oh, da vinu, oh, da vinu, oh, da vinu, kai. Oh, da vinu, kai. Oh, da vinu, kai. Oh, da vinu, oh, da vinu, oh, da vinu, kai. Am Israel, am Israel, am Israel, kai. Am Israel, am Israel, am Israel, kai. Am Israel, am Israel, am Israel, kai. Am Israel. Oh, da vinu kai, oh da vinu kai, oh da vinu, oh da vinu, oh da vinu kai, oh da vinu kai, oh da vinu kai, oh da vinu, oh da vinu, oh da vinu kai. I'm Israel, I'm Israel, I'm Israel kai. I'm Israel, I'm Israel, I'm Israel kai. I'm Israel. Oh, da vinu kai. Oh, da vinu, oh, da vinu, oh, da vinu kai. Oh, da vinu kai. Oh, da vinu kai. 
Shabbat shalom. Welcome. Let's turn to page one, or in your siddur, your prayer book. Page one, or look at the screen behind me. There it is. Yeah. Or screen in front of me. Hallelujah. Private prayer, isn't it? Yeah, but they don't always keep up with me. <laughs> They are. They're awesome. They're awesome. Hallelujah. Yeah. Well, this has been such an awesome week with the Prime Minister of Israel. Amen. And the Speaker of the House got what as a gift? Hamantash, in which we don't get. Oh, no, he got a scroll, scroll. of Esther. Oh. He did. Was presented to him by the Prime Minister of Israel. And when they showed the picture of it, it was beautiful. It was all had all this color, and it was just gorgeous. We have one right here. Hallelujah. And so, yes, we do. We have very nice one. Okay, page one. Ma.
Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Welcome to Adat HaTikvot Zion, the Hope of Zion Congregation. It's good to see you all here today. The sun is shining, the weather's warmed up. Man, what more can you ask for? Well, I don't hear it. <laughs> you sure to return? Okay, yeah. Well, you think he'll do it on a nice day or a bad day? Up to him. It'll be a glorious day. It will, it will. Yeah, you got it right. Yeah, well, it's been a, quite a week, like uh, Cantor said, you know, on Tuesday, Netanyahu addressed Congress. Amen. How many of you listened to the entire thing? Woo! It was the most awesome was speech. Awesome. awesome speech ever. <laughs> yeah, I was, uh, I, was, I was with McDonald at the, you know, he went to radiation, oh, yeah. and I was sitting there in the lobby, and there's this other guy sitting there from somewhere, and he said, I wish he was our president. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you don't know how many times I heard that. I heard that a lot, yeah, you know. So I don't know. Anyway, it was, it's been, yeah, we, we, were, we were at the, the hospital at the time, but we, we listened to it. We watched it on the TV in the waiting room. It was awesome. And then on Thursday, we celebrated Purim, uh, which, was, which we're going to celebrate again today, so... Purim never ends until Passover gets here, <laughs> at least in my life. Amen. I hope there's some hamantashen out there. Yes, there is. All right. All right, somebody brought some hamantashen. All right, let's read Psalm 75 then. We're going to read it anyway, whether you brought it or not. But it's 775 says, For the conductor, a plea to be spared from destruction, a psalm by Asaf, a song. We have acknowledged you, O God, we have acknowledged, and your name is near. Your wonders have declared this. When I shall seize the appointed time, I shall judge with fairness. The earth and all of its inhabitants are melted. I have firmly established its pillars. I said to the roisterers, be not prolificate, and to the wicked, raise not your pride. Raise not your pride heavenward, nor speak insolence with haughty neck. For neither from sunrise nor from sunset nor from wilderness comes greatness. For God is the judge. He lowers this one and raises that one. For there is a cup of punishment in Hashem's hand with strong wine, a full mixture which overflows from it until all the wicked of the earth will drain and drink only its dregs. But as for me, I shall recount it forever. I shall sing to the God of Jacob. Yes. And I shall cut down all the pride of the wicked. The pride of the righteous shall be exalted. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Let's go to page two then. Amen. And praise the creator of the universe in two languages. <clears throat> Bless the Lord who is worthy to be praised. Blessed be the Lord who is worthy to be praised forever and ever. Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Blessed be his name, whose glorious kingdom is forever and ever. And you should love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. Let these matters that I command you today be upon your heart. Teach them diligently to your children and speak of them while you sit in your home, while you walk on the way. When you lie down and when you rise up, bind them as a sign upon your arm and let them be a sign between your eyes 
and write them on the doorposts of your house and upon your gates. And you should love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments rest the entire Torah and the prophets. And you can turn to page six if you got a book. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who has given us the way of salvation in Messiah Yeshua. Amen. And you are now able to turn to page 7 for the Amidah. It's called standing prayer. Amidah means standing. You're exempt. <laughs> Thank you, Rabbi. She needs that. Eloheinu v'eloheinu 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 Sabeno mi toveka, ve sama kenu mi shuateka, ve tohe ti beno le adeka, ve mes ve ta heli beno, ve ta heli beno. Our God and God of our fathers, be pleased with our rest. Sanctify us through thy commandments and set our portion in thy Torah. Gratify us with thy goodness, gladden us through thy salvation, and purify our hearts to serve thee in truth. 
Give us thy holy Sabbath, Lord our God, with love and favor as our heritage. And may Israel, who sanctifies thy name, bless, rest on it. Blessed art thou, O Lord, who sanctifies the Sabbath. Amen. Amen. And Yeshua gave us a prayer to do also. Avinu Shabbat Shemayim Yikadesh Shemcha Tavo Malchutecha Yaaser Rasoncha Baaretz Kaaser Naasa Ba Shemayim Ten Lanu Hayom Lechem Chukenu Uslak Lanu Et Ashmatenu Kaaser Solchim Enachnu Laaser Ashmulanu Ba Al Tivienu Lede Masa Kiim Hatzilenu Min Hara Ki Lecha Hamam Lecha Bahagvira, Bahad Tiferet, the Olame, Olamim, Amen. Leah, time for praise and worship. Just dancing's in the back today. Hallelujah. <clears throat> ah. Let's pray over our dancers this morning. You know, we got Passover coming up and, and all kinds of things going on. And I just thank you, Lord, that uh, put your hand of protection upon them, O oh Lord. Keep them all safe and limber. Hashem Yeshua HaMashiach, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, God is our defense. Amen. My soul, wait thou on me. On
when anything like death is approaching, every Jew will stand and begin to do the Shema. Shema Yisrael Adonai Those that dwell under the shadow of the Almighty. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, we come to you. You are our protection. You are our shield. Hallelujah. And Lord, you always hear our prayers. I will dwell in the shadow of your wings. I will now of the peace your love can bring. Night will fall, but I will not be afraid when I dwell in the shadow. lies in the shadow of your wings and I rely on your faithful covering arrows fly but I will not be afraid when I dwell in the shadow of your wings in the
Israel, the protector of the doors of Israel. And our God, he never sleeps. He rests, <laughs> but he's not sleeping. When you cry out to him, he hears your prayer. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, many are my foes. Many rise again me they see where is your God they see God could not
I lay down to sleep. The foe comes against me on every side, but I, I will have no fear. For you, you sustain me with you. down your enemy is of long ago now arrive oh Lord deliver me from the dead you have become my glory Mountains are around Jerusalem. The Lord is around His people. As the mountains are around Jerusalem. The Lord is around. I mean, <clears throat> today's Torah reading is from the book of Shemot, the book of Exodus, chapter 32, verses 15 through 20. Ya'amod Sha'ul ben Sha'ul, la Torah. Barku and Adonai Hambarak. Baruch Adonai Hambarach Le'olam Ba'ed Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Barkarpanu Mikol HaMim Ve'natan Lanu Et Torato Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen Blessed are you, our Lord our God, King of the Universe, who chose us from all peoples and gave us your Torah. Blessed are you who gives us the Torah. 
I mean, 15, 20. Yep. Moses turned and descended from the mountain with the two tablets of the testimony in his hand, tablets inscribed on both their sides. They were inscribed on one side and the other. The tablets were God's handiwork, and the script was the script of God engraved on the tablets. Joshua heard the sound of the people and its shouting, and he said to Moses, The sound of battle is in the camp. He said, Not a sound shouting strength, nor a sound shouting weakness. A sound of distress do I hear. It happened as he drew near the camp, and he saw the calf and the dances, that Moses' anger flew, flared up. He threw down the tablets from his hand and shouted them at the foot of the mountain. He took the calf that they had made and burned it in fire. He ground it into a fine powder and sprinkled it over the water. He made the children of Israel drink. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher natan lanu Torah demet, ve'okayu lam nata betukenu, Baruch atah Adonai, noten ha-Torah, amen. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who gave us your true instruction and planted everlasting life in our midst. Blessed are you, Lord, who gives the Torah. Amen. Amen. Bless you. Good job. He who blessed our fathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, may he bless Shaul ben Shaul, who has come up to honor God in the Torah. May the Holy One bless him and his family and send blessing and prosperity on all the work of his hands. Amen. Amen. And that will bring you to page 16. Wisdom is the tree of life to those who will fast to her, and all who uphold her are blessed. Her ways are pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. Cause us to return to you, O Lord, and we shall return. Renew our days as of old. Amen. Today's reading from the Haftor is a special reading for uh, the Feast of Purim. It's from the book of Esther, chapter 3, verses 1 through 5. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who chose good prophets, delighted in the words which were spoken truthfully. Blessed are you, O Lord, who chose the Torah, your servant Moses, your people Israel, and the prophets of truth and righteousness. Amen. Okay, for those of you that have not been here before for one of these, this is a group participation thing. Whenever you hear the word Haman, <laughs> Although we do have a Haman in the house over there, I see. We have our own, we have our own Haman. When you hear the name Mordecai... Okay, let's see how we do. That wasn't one of them. <laughs> They'll learn eventually. Okay. 
Vayasem ekitsoho maho kol hasharim asheritoho ve kol of day hamelek asher basar hamelek korim umeshakavim la heimahad Ki ken si valo a melek umod o kai. Lo ye kra ve lo ye shaka ve. Fayom ru of de a melek, a shebasar, a melek, la mordokai. Matua, a tover, et mitvan, a melek, vahi, kaom ram, a life. Yom Yom Ve Lo Shama Eleka Vayagidu Lahimad Lirot Vaham Tu Divrei Madokai Ki higid lahem ashehu yahudihi fa yahemahad. Ki hain morokai. Korea umishtaka vavehe la. Vayimale heimad Heima The English should get these things. The hard stuff. I know, you have struggled with this. It's, it's tough. After these things, King Ahasuerus promoted Haman, son... I guess I do. Haman, son of Hamadatha the Agagite, and elevated him. He set his seat above all the officers who were with him. All the king's servants were at the king's gate, would bow down and prostrate themselves before Haman. Haman. I just thought I'd see if they were listening. They have to drown it out. For so had the king commanded concerning him, but Mordecai would not bow down and prostrate himself. So the king's servant who were at the king's gate said to Mordecai, Why do you disobey the king's command? Now it happened when they said this, this to him day after day, and he did not heed them, they told Haman to see whether Mordecai's words would prevail. For he had told them that he was a Jew. When Haman himself saw that Mordecai did not bow down and prostrate himself before him, Haman was filled with wrath. Grape sauce. I read that in high school. The grape sauce? I did, yes. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, rock of ages, righteous in all generations, the faithful God who speaks and performs, who declares and establishes whose words are entirely truth and righteousness. Amen. Thank you. You put that. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good job. So in the past, God spoke to our fathers through the prophets at many times in various ways. But now in the end of days, he has spoken to us by the Messiah, his son, whom he appointed the heir of all things and through whom he made the universe. The son is the full radiance of God's glory and the flawless manifestation of his reality. He sustains all things by his powerful word. 
After he made atonement for sins, he sat down in the place of authority beside the majesty in heaven. Today's reading from the Barik Chadishah, the Renewed Covenant, is from the book of 1 Corinthians. Uh, 1 Corinthians 8, chapter 8, verses 4 through 13. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who has given us Messiah Yeshua and the words of the renewed covenant. Blessed are you, O Lord, giver of the renewed covenant. So as for eating food sacrificed to idols, we know that as you say, an idol has no real existence in the world. And there is only one God. For even if there are so-called gods, either in the heaven or on earth, as in fact there are gods and lords galore, Yet for us there is one God, the Father, from whom all things come and for whom we exist, and the one Lord, Yeshua the Messiah, through whom we were created all things and through whom we have our being. But not everyone has this knowledge. Moreover, some people are still so accustomed to idols that when they eat food which has been sacrificed to them, they think of it as really affected by the idol, and their consciences, being weak, are thus defiled. Now, food will not improve our relationship with God. It will neither be poorer if we abstain, nor richer if we eat. However, watch out that your mastery of the situation does not become a stumbling block to the weak. You have some knowledge, but, su but suppose someone with a weak conscience sees you eating a meal in the temple of an idol. Won't he be built up wrongly to eat this food which has been sacrificed to idols? Thus, by your knowledge, this weak person is destroyed this brother for whom the Messiah died. And so when you sin against the brothers by wounding their conscience, when it is weak, you are sinning against the Messiah. Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who gave us the word of truth and planted among us life eternal. Blessed are you, O Lord, giver of the renewed covenant. Amen. A woman of valor who can find she is worth far more than precious jewels. The heart of her husband safely trusts in her and he profits greatly thereby. Bless you all. Bless you. You want to give me that? Uh, thank you. Well, we got a Koopa. <coughs> Huh. All the daughters, there's a bat for Shabbat. We would like all of the God's children to come and stand under the chuppah, the canopy, to be blessed. There is the first one, Zoomer. We call her Zoomer. Her name is Zoomer. And we got a brand new baby we got to bring down. Oh, yeah, and then if there's any in digital oh, or cardboard yeah. status that you're carrying around with you, you can bring them down. If there's any of you who act like children, you should get over here. There's the baby. Wow. Give her room. Yeah. That baby's been under the hoopa for nine months already.
God bless you and grant you long life. May God make you good husbands and wives. May the Lord Yesimcha Elohim ke Ephraim vichim Menashe vi Yeshua HaMashiach. May God make you as Ephraim and Manasseh and Yeshua our Messiah. Yisimcha Elohim ke Sarah, Rivka, Rachel, Vileah vi Yeshua HaMashiach. May God make you as Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah and Yeshua our Messiah. May the Spirit of the Lord rest upon you, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and of power the spirit of knowledge, and of the fear of the Lord. And may delight in the fear of the Lord. Bless you, children. Shabbat shalom. Where's the... Shabbat shalom. Uh, Kyle and Vanessa, don't go anywhere. I have to introduce you to the world. Our new baby here. You guys... This is uh, Aliyah. Is that Aliyah? Can I hold? Whoa, wait a minute. There we go. I'd like you all to meet Aliyah. This baby has been uh, a long time in the making. And uh, she stood under this hoopa for a long time already. So, yes. And her par proud parents, Kyle and Vanessa. And yeah. this is a beautiful baby. And we're going to do a dedication ceremony for her in another time because your parents need to come, right? Yes. Yeah. See, wow. Cantor? You know. They do make them like they used to. <laughs> yeah, I can't carry any of mine anymore. Yeah, well. Look at those beautiful, everything's beautiful. Yeah. She's, everything's nice, huh? It's a beautiful she? baby. <laughs> Who wants her? She's wet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you scared the pee out of her. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she's wet. Maybe it was just the sweat of just meeting me for the first time. <laughs> Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Huh? No Shabbat school today. <laughs> Daniel, you want to come sing with me? I know you will, because we're like the two tenors or whatever. Only I'm not a tenor. Uh, but you know, it, it really, it was on my heart all week, um, especially with all of the things going on with Netanyahu. Um, and, and, and you can see, uh, you can see there's something in this country that shouldn't be here. And... Um, you know, not, I pray for our president all the time, and I, and I pray for all of the uh, members of Congress and, and uh, our government, and uh, I'm, I fast and pray, too. Uh, but, uh, and it was, it was fun to hear all the applause from the speech, but I realized that there were a lot of the individuals that weren't there. And uh, so... Pelosi has been getting a lot of prayer, um, and uh, and our, like I said, our president. But the thing that really was uh, hitting me 
was, uh, you know, uh, we proclaim our belief in one God. And uh, that no matter what happens, and you know, Christians, Christians are being martyred, you know, around the world. And there's a lot of things that are going on, and it, and it does read like the book of Revelation. And uh, it, is, it is really uh, something. But then you, you hear about uh, those that are so brave. And then uh, when, you read the, uh, when you read the stories of the Holocaust, and, and you see that there were rabbis who would stand in the midst of death and sing the Shema and keep people's attention upon the one God rather than on the impending death. And so my attention is on you, O Lord. Hallelujah. And this is a little happy because we are happy. <laughs> Shema Yisrael. Shema Yisrael. Adonai Elohim. Shema Yisrael, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Elohim. Adonai Had, Adonai Zikinu, Adonai Yahshua Kinu. Adonai Had, Adonai Zikinu, Adonai Yahshua Kinu. Baruch Shem Kibod Makuto. Bakut leulam, leulam ba'ed. Baruch shem kibod bakuto. Bakut leulam, leulam ba'ed. Baruch shem kibod bakuto. Bakut leulam, leulam ba'ed. Baruch shem kibod bakuto. Makut leulam leulam ba'ed. Shema Yisrael, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Elohim. Shema Yisrael, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Elohim. Adonai Echad, Adonai Tzikinu, Adonai Yahshua. Heinu Adonai Echad Adonai Sitkenu Adonai Yahshua Heinu Baruch Shem Kibod Bakuto Bakuto Leolam Leolam Ba'ed Baruch Shem Kibod Bakuto Bakuto Leolam Leolam Ba'ed Baruch Shem Kibod Bakuto Makut Leolam Leolam Ba'ed Baruch Shem Kibod Bakuto Makut Leolam Leolam Ba'ed Hallelujah! is Open Door Mission Sunday. We get to serve lunch. Uh, it really shocked me because I, I didn't realize this is the second Sunday tomorrow of the month since we started last Sunday. And so tomorrow is Open Door Mission Day. And I was thinking it was next week, but it ain't. Or it isn't, or it is not. <laughs> What's proper English in that case? It ain't, it ain't. okay. Whatever. It's, actually, it's tomorrow, so get your lunch boots on. And, Dalma, you're going to talk, you're going to say something, because in a, less than a month, we have a, a big event um, that Dalma wants to tell you about. I think I've been hawking about Passover now for the last few weeks, but 
Really, I just want you to pray on the people that are coming and just pray that the Lord is going to be his will that evening and that we are there to honor him. Um, Nancy and I like to work under pressure, it seems like, because the reservations are, are not coming as, as nicely as we were hoping to. So um, the sooner the better. Um, um, you know, um, we always wait until the last minute, and that's great. But for the two of us, it's kind of... Um, I don't know, we pull our hairs or what, a little bit or whatever, and Nancy has to go away to visit her parents also, so that's going to put a little week uh, on us. So if you think you're coming and you think you're coming, please let me know. Put it in there. Um, we could always account for the money later. I'm not looking for the money. I always think this is an outreach program, so it's who we could bring and who we could feed that evening. Okay, and I don't mean feed feed spiritually, okay? So just keep us all in prayer. Thank you. Thank you, yeah. Get your reservations in quickly. And uh, we are rebuilding our website right now, and, you know, praise God, it was taken down by professionals who don't like us, so we must be doing something right, obviously. Yeah. They went through all that trouble to take us out. Somebody, somebody's not liking what we do, which makes me happy because there's a lot of people in this world that need to hear what we have. All right, well, today we're going to deviate from what we normally do because it's, uh, we're going to have our Purim celebration, and we don't, you know, we don't preach a great sermon on Purim. Or, it's a happy time. It's a, a period of freedom from uh, a group of people who we now call the Iranians who were the Persians, right, uh -huh. who tried to kill us. So what has changed in 2,000 years? <laughs> Not much. Yeah, and so Netanyahu comes to Washington on Purim week to speak to Congress about something that go, went on thousands of years ago. And Purim is in the Bible. It's in the book of Esther, and so it's, it's, it's a biblical holiday, and it's not a biblical holiday. It's, it's a holiday... It's told to uh, celebrate because we kill our enemies. We killed Haman, who, and we killed all those people because they tried to kill us, right? And so they tried to kill us. We won, let's eat. Yeah. It's normally our theme. But, you know, I was doing some, you know, every year I do my, my readings for the holidays and holy days, and I look at different things. And, and this year I discovered that uh, Purim actually is the origin of what the world calls Mardi Gras. And Germany, they call it Fasching. And Rio, Brazil, they call it Carnival. But all that came from the Jewish holiday known as Purim. Now, we know the world changes the things that we celebrate, you know. Passover was changed into Easter and, and you know, the birth of Christ, which we don't ever celebrate, is, was changed into Christmas. And so, you know, and now Purim was changed into Mardi Gras. So... That's where it all comes from, but we, we got the original. So, so here we are today, and uh, we're going to do a, a special Purim uh, thing for you. It's uh, kind of a story of Purim, but we're going to be using the Bible. Is that correct? No? no? I didn't you, we're doing a Purim spiel then? A play about Purim. Sort of. Well, I saw Duct Tape Man. And I don't recall reading about Duct Tape Man in the book of Esther, but I'm sure he's got an important role in this, this one. So why don't we get started, and I, I will do the audiovisual. Duct Tape Man, here we come.
right? Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Good Morning Persia. We have a, we have a very special show today. My guests are the stars of Purim themselves. But first, this commercial. You know, we do need our corporate sponsors. My special guests, we have the, the, we have Vashti, formerly known as the Queen, Yay! and her lovely servant. Yay for the servant! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Vashti, we're going to start with you. Yes, so happy to be here. We're glad to have you here today. Thank Welcome. You. Yes. I know you watch our show quite often, so. Sure. <laughs> all right. So, Vashti, I have a few questions for you. All right. Um, first of all, why did you refuse the, the king's request? When I heard that request, I had to take a deep breath. And he, I told him, he is not the boss of me. <laughs> And how did you feel when the king banished you for not coming before his nobles? I said, no problemo. None. These boots are made for walking. That's what I'm going to do. Toodaloo. 
clothes. And he's not the boss of me. And I know you have been quite busy since you were queen, so what are you doing now? My social calendar is so full. I am so busy. More popular than ever. Not just cutting those ribbons for grocery stores. I'm up to malls now. Busy, busy, busy. And I'm so glad that he's not the boss of me. So, hey, Vashti, you know what? That's all the questions I have for you. So, I know there's a little bit of animosity between you and the king, so I'm going to have you sit over there. Uh -huh. Thank you, Vashti and servants. Both still lovely ladies. And now, a word from our sponsors. Folks, we need this corporate input to keep me on the air. Come on. I'm Huzz. I'm Buzz. We are here to talk about our used camels. Our, our used camels. Used camels. How used are they? <laughs> If you say the secret words, and Alice the camel when you come on down. We'll, we'll give your camel a full hump of gas. <laughs> and best of all, they're all terrain. Their giant feet will go through the sand like nothing else. They're like sand shoes, but for a camel. So come on down to the camel emporium. We're, we're not an emporium. Oh, we changed that? Yeah, we, we never were an emporium. Oh. Well, come on down! Careful, they spit. And I'm not talking about the camels. Okay, and now probably the three most important characters for the holiday of Purim. Mordecai, the Jew. And we have, in this very room, I'm so excited, we have the king himself, Xerxes, and his lovely bride, Esther. Be seated. What? Yes, sir. Okay, anyway. <clears throat> Thanks. Yeah. Well, the king has his moments. Okay, so um, the first question is for you, king. Why did you ask Vashti to dance before the nobles? Have you seen her? <laughs> okay. And um, why did you just banish her? Why did you banish her instead of just punishing her in another way? Well, you can't destroy a work of art. Oh, that is so sweet. <laughs> you, you sound so nice, King. Thank you. Don't cross me. Yes, sir. It's, you're just going to let me know if I get too close to that line, aren't you? Okay, thank you. Okay. And the next question's for Esther. So... So how did you feel having to compete with all those other women? Oh, 
you know, I was just, I was so confident because, you know, I, I had just got rid of this big zit in the middle of my forehead the day before. So I just knew, and I just, the only problem was I, the gown that I wanted to wear wasn't going to be able to because I just couldn't fit in it. But then, oh, the, the talent competition, I was so confident because I'm just a huge ham, you know. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't say that word. <laughs> And the competition was a really good idea. Um, King, was it hard to choose a queen? Number 42 was pretty good. <laughs> 42 is the meaning of life, you know. So, um, Esther, how did you feel when you were the chosen one? Well, may I just say to Vashti and to Haman, <laughs> Let it go, let it go, you're not the queen anymore. Let it go, let it go, cause I'm the queen for sure. Here I stand, and here I'll stay. Let him rage on. The king never liked him anyway. Now, Mordecai, um, you, you told Esther not to reveal her heritage. Why did you do that? Since I spend pray three times a day, I just felt God had a plan, and it wasn't time to reveal that yet. Okay. Well, thank you for that honest and revealing answer. Okay. Um, let's see. The next question of, of course, is for the king. There was rumored to be a plot to overthrow you. Are there often plots to overthrow you? Oh, absolutely. But we always find them out. Keep that in mind, folks. They always find it out. Okay. And then we had Mordecai, who was actually the hero of that tale. How did you feel when the king slighted you after you had saved his life? All I was doing was just doing my job. My job is to advise the king. My job is to help him do his job better. My job is not to seek glory. Okay. And then, you were rewarded later though, weren't you? Yes, I was. Can you tell us about that moment when Haman was, was leading you through the streets on one of the king's own horses? Well, I have to admit that while I try not to seek the limelight, limelight it felt pretty good on top of that horse having him uh, go ahead and pull, go, lead me around the city. <laughs> and I do wish that we could have Haman here with us today. But but we all know how he ended up. His, his neck is a little longer right now. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm glad I don't have to do the jokes here. <laughs> so, so, then you found out that all the Jewish people had been condemned to die. So what is it with the sackcloth and ashes, though? We are all horrified. And so we have only one place to go, and that's to our God. We humble ourselves, we seek him, we put ourselves in his hands. So you ask Esther to Yay! fast for three days. Did you think that Esther would really succeed in saving your people? I didn't know for sure if Esther would succeed. But I did know this. Our God has never let his people down. He has always defended them when necessary. And if it wasn't through Esther, it would be through someone else. But inside, I had faith that yes, God was going to use Esther in a powerful way. 
and Esther. When Mordecai asked you to go before the king, you didn't know whether you would live or die. And you came up with those words that are so famous now and so touching to us. Would you mind repeating those words? Well, I knew if I perish, I perish. So I just said, que sera, sera. <laughs> Now, King, it is the law that uh, Esther cannot approach you without permission. So was it hard to grant Esther that permission that she needed to approach you? Not after our eyes met. Oh, that's so sweet. And Esther, did you feel confident after your three days of fasting that the king would allow you to speak to him? Well, absolutely, because after three days of fasting, I could finally fit into that dress. <laughs> and I've seen it at his son dress. But you didn't come right out and ask the king or tell the king what you needed him to know. Why, what made you think of inviting the king and Haman to dinner? Well, I do make a mean lasagna and hamatasha. <laughs> okay. So, King, is she a good cook? Absolutely. Make me a sandwich. <laughs> and... Is it true that you really would have given her half your kingdom? For a sandwich. <laughs> okay, so what was it like to have Haman and, and the king as dinner guests? Well, Haman eats like a pig. <laughs> May I just say, the king, he was, he was delightful. All right, and king, how did you feel when Esther revealed to you her marriage and told you that she was going to be executed along with the Jewish people? I was shocked and amazed. Amazed that she was Jewish or amazed that she was going to be killed? Uh, that she was going to be killed. And you knew you had to do something, right? And then you went to think, and you came back, and there's Haman lying next to your wife. So, do you feel that he should have gotten a fair trial, as some people in Persia say? Or do you think that, that you acted correctly in hanging him within the hour? I am the king. That's true. You are the king. Okay. And... Would you have done anything differently had you known that Esther was Jewish? You might have hung Haman sooner. So Haman, or excuse me, so... So Mordecai. You seem to have a lot of faith. You have demonstrated to us by your words today that you have a lot of faith. Were you really that sure that God would save you? Yes, I was. Straight and to the point. I like that. All right. And one final question. How do you celebrate Purim today, King Xerxes and Queen Esther? Well, I mix up a batch of hamantaschen, and then we go and dance on Haman's grave! <laughs> All right, I want to thank my guests today for being here and for speaking truly from their hearts. And now, a final word from our sponsors. Do you 
ever have someone who really annoys you? Who just won't go away? We'll call Jiggers and Crows today. We'll have your billows, we have your gallows built in a day. Mm -hmm. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> what? What? We're not done yet. We're not done yet. No one changes on the stage yet. Just give us a minute. There's a royal official gallows maker. Yes. We have royal support. <laughs> Just ask, ask Heyman how good our, our product is. Is there a royal queen in the back? <laughs> 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 oh, come on down and get your gallop today. Now you can have the mic. Well, ladies and gentlemen, can you give another big hand for our special guests today? Queen Exeter, King Xerxes, and the honored Mordecai. All right. And now, just a final word. Purim is celebrated all over the world today, thanks to these people. It is a holiday of silliness and of dressing up and of merriment, but it is also a holiday that celebrates the true freedom of our people to be able to worship wherever, whenever we want. And we have these people a lot for the, the heritage that they have given us. So thank you, Esther because you did not perish. Place to go. Recycle them groggers. Okay, page twenty two, the Elenu. If you can rise, that would be great. Aleinu l'shave ha'kadon ha'kol la'teikudu la'leotze be'rishit shelo asanu kegoye harazot ve'lo hosamanu k'mishpachot hadama shelo sam kelkenu kahem ve'gohor aleinu k'choham Benach nu korim, u mishtakavim, u modim, lifnem hach, malche hamlachim, hakadosh barokho. Shehu no te shomayim, te oser aretz, u moshav yakaro, Bashamai Mima, Hushkin Naruzo, Hushkin Naruzo, Begab Hemero, Him, O Eloheno, Henos, Hemet Malkeno, Episulato, Kakatu. Be Torah, be Adat Hayom, be 
dasayom te hashivota elavavecha ki Adonai hu Elohim b'shamayim mima be'aharet be'aharet mita kat enod. It is our duty to praise the Master of all, to ascribe greatness to the author of creation, for he made us unlike the nations of the lands and has not placed us like the families of the earth. He has not made our portion like theirs and our lot like all their multitudes. And we bend the knee and bow and acknowledge our thanks before the King of kings, the Holy One, blessed be he. He stretches out heaven and establishes earth's foundation, and the seat of glory is in the heavens above. And the presence of his power is in the most exalted heights. He is our God, there is none other. Truly he is our king. There is nothing beside him. As it is written in his Torah, And you shall know this day and take to your heart that the Lord, he is God. In the heavens above and on the earth below, there is none other. Kakatu betoratecha Adonai imluk leolam vahed. For then shall the words be fulfilled, the Lord shall be king forever, and it is said, the Lord shall be king over all the world. On that day, the Lord will be one, and his name one. Amen. And as we pray Israel's greatest prayer of praise to God, let's remember our family and friends we've lost in the past year. Tomorrow is Catherine Fideli's yard site, Tyree Wenig. Uh, Helen Parks, John Nordlow, Lee Walker, Salome Ken, Marcy Cheney, Ruth Johnson, Frank Armbrust, Sandy Stork, Betty Learn, Doug Sweats, Daniel Washburn, Johanna Chernoff, Elizabeth Hunt, Clark Olmstead, Denny Breckbill, Jean Phillip, Gladys Valentine, Vern Welch, Mavis Hobart, Robert Woodward, and Patty Seif. Let's also remember all those babies that never had a chance to live this week and all those Amen. killed in military or terrorist action. Is there anyone else we need to remember this week? Yitgadal, Vyikadash, Shemerba, Vyama, Divra, Kirote, Vyamlech, Malchute, Vichayechon, Umyamechon, Uchayedichal, Beit Yisrael, Bagala, Uvisman, Kariv, Imru, Amen. Yehesh me rabba mavorach le alam alame amaya. Yit barak viyish tabak viyit paar viyit ramam viyit nase viyit hadar viyit ale viyit halal shemeda kudisha birachu la elam in kol birchata bishir ata tush bechata benechmata dami ram bialma bimru amen. Yehesh lama rabba min shemaya v'chayim leinu v'al kol Yisrael bimru amen. O say shalom, Vimrumav, Huya say shalom, Aleinu, Bialko Yisrael, Vimru, Amen. Magnified and sanctified be his great name in the world he has created according to his will. May he establish his kingdom during your life and during your days, during the life of the whole house of Israel, even swiftly and soon, and say, Amen. Let his great name be blessed forever and to all eternity. Blessed, praised, and glorified, exalted, extolled, and honored. Magnified and lauded be the name of the Holy One. Blessed is He, though He be high above all the blessings and songs, praises and consolations which are uttered in the world, and say, Amen. May there be great peace from heaven and life for us and for all Israel, and say, Amen. May He who makes peace in His high places make peace upon us and upon all Israel, and say, Amen. Page 29.
Page 30. <laughs> Hallelujah. How many of you like to just go long walks and sing a don't know why? I drive. <laughs> or drive. Or drive. Long drives. So. Hallelujah. A don't a shemala, but it's in the let not so the heads so cold as I malek shamoni rabea pare kikot ako be ba ado imlok nora be ho ayo be ho. today. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh. I know. <laughs> no. Hallelujah. Oh. Oh, the Lamb of
As long as deep in a heart hums the Jewish soul, and forward to the east and eye gazes to Zion, our hope will not be lost, the hope of 2,000 years to be a free people in our land. Amen. Uh, please join us in a prayer circle around the sanctuary. If you have prayer request cards filled out, please give them to me at this time. Join us also for Oneg uh, food in the lobby, fellowship, and then we also have Torah study. Hallelujah.
to come. Adonai, tif tai, tif tak, lufi agid tehila techa. O Lord, open my lips that my mouth may proclaim your praise. And Lord, I praise you as being the great deliverer, the great I am who, who was and who is and who is to come. We praise you for being our God and for saving us. We thank you for that, Lord. We thank you for including us in your kingdom. And Lord, as a result of that, we have a responsibility. We have a responsibility to proclaim your word, yes. your name throughout the world. And this is a fallen world as we see. There are so many detractors from you, Lord. The world is full of, I want to do it my way. And Lord, they don't want to do it your way. They don't want to read your Bible. But yet they proclaim to profess that they have all the knowledge in the world, but they've never read your book. I can't understand that, but, you know, they all speak with forked tongues, I believe. And Lord, I just, uh, I thank you for uh, this week the historical making speech that Netanyahu made. I'm sorry it fell on many deaf ears because the people that needed to hear it weren't there and they're not listening because they proclaim and profess to know everything they need to know. And Lord, it's, it's a sad, fallen world. And I know that you understand that. Uh, we, uh, we greatly grieve that. But we are your chosen people. We are your salvation uh, showing uh, here up on the earth. And Lord, we thank you. And allow us to be the faithful witnesses that you would have us proclaim to be. You would ask us to go out there. And we need to stand fast for you. We need to stand fast for your word. We need to stand fast for your name and proclaim it wherever we go, Lord. And let people know that you are still around. Let them know, Lord. If Esther didn't stand up to Ahasuerus and uh, if uh, Ruth didn't stand by us as a people and all these other people that didn't stand by us, then how are we to proclaim the word? How are we to survive, Lord? We thank, we thank you for delivering us, Jew and Gentile, to your kingdom. And Lord, we just ask that you allow us to be, continue to be faithful witnesses, to, to, to step up our game in that department, Lord. Yes. We pray for those who are fallen we pray for those who are sick. We pray for our leaders who are, are fallen and sick too. And all of those who, who need to hear the word of God and need to understand what it says because they, they profess to know it, but they don't know what it says. And they don't understand it. And Lord, they fall, it falls on deaf ears. And so, Lord, we just ask you to allow us to be the proclaimers of your word everywhere we go. Let the people that hear us come to you and become a part of your kingdom. We thank you for uh, the people that are included here today. We ask that you bless each and every one of them with, with, with blessings throughout the coming week, uh, both economically and health-wise and spiritually. Just bless them. Lord, we pray for those who are sick or ill. We, we, we thank you. We have a praise report from Becky Williams in Colorado. She Went through her operation successfully. Yes. And I saw Pastor Mark this morning, and uh, he's excited. And we thank you yes. for, he thanks us all for the prayers. And we just keep praying for Becky to get her well and bring her home with her twin children that she's going to deliver. Mm -hmm. And Lord, we also uh, pray for uh, all the people that we know. Uh, we are, we've been disheartened this week to learn that uh, Dr. P from Africa is not going to be able to come here. The, the, the Kenyan government de denied his visa. They're afraid that he won't come back. And so uh, we pray for him. We lift him up in our prayers. We pray for the Shalom House in, in Kenya, in Nairobi, and all the people that are there. We lift them up in your eyes and ask you to bless them and continuously and just help them through what they need to go through. Lord, and, and help us to unite with them at some point in the future. We thank you for, for all the people that are here, all those who are ill. I ask you to heal them, make them well, if that be your will, and to bless everyone in Yeshua's holy name.
Adonai panave lehecha, v'yasim lehecha, shalom. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace in the name of Yeshua, the Prince of Peace. B'shem Yeshua Meshukenu. Amen. Shabbat Shalom.
right now. I have not had a chance to listen to his speech yet. It's on my to-do list. 